Hello, uh, good morning, all of you. My name is Nadeem Ansari, and my topic of topic of my video is partial differential equations. The main point of my partial differential equations: first, we will discuss the introduction to partial differential equations. Next, classification of partial differential equation, and the last, Lagrange's method of solving linear partial differential equation of first order. Now, what is the partial differential equation? First, we will discuss the difference between the ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations and in ordinary differential equations has only one independent variables and for example in this equations has only one independent variable x and vice dependent variable but in partial differential equation there is more than one independent variables and in this equation x and y are independent variables and z is dependent variables okay now Introduction of partial differential equations an equation involving partial differential coefficient of a function of two or more variable is known as partial differential equation. Now we will use the following notations uh, del z by del x equal to p, del z by del y is equal to q, delta z by del x square is equal to r, etc. Now order of partial differential equation is the order of the highest derivative you are putting the equations and we will know the degree of partial differential equation is the degree of highest order derivative occurring in it. For example, xp plus yzq is equal to xy. This differential equation is contain, containing only p and q. So it is the partial differential equation of order 1. But in this differential equations, there is a q, r, and s. So it is the partial differential equation of order more than 1 because there is a q, r, s. Because in previous slide we learned q is equal to desert by del y r is equal to delta z by del x square so it is a differential equations it is a partial differential equation of order 2 and its degree is 1 because the degree is the highest power of highest derivative so it is the partial differential equation of order 2 and degree 1 now classification of partial differential equation now the most general form of first order partial differential equation is f of x comma y comma z comma p comma q is equal to zero where x and y are independent variable and z is dependent variable now a partial differential equation is said to be linear if the dependent variable z and its derivative are of degree one and product of z and its derivatives don't appear in the equations now linear partial differential equation of first order a differential equation involving p and q and not containing higher data is called first order and if the degree of p and q are unity it is called linear partial differential equation of first order so the general form of linear partial differential equation form pp plus qq is equal to r where p q r are a function of x y z the double equation is also known as Lagrange's linear equations a partial differential equation which is not linear is, is called non-linear partial differential equation now we will discuss the working rule of Lagrange's linear equations now uh, language is linear equation of the form pp plus qq is equal to r so first steps is first we write language's auxiliary equations which is given by dx by p is equal to dy by q is equal to z by r now now we will solve about about equation uh, solve by let the two solution is u is equal to c1 and v is equal to c2 now we will we will select such two fractions for which we can find solution in easy way okay now required solution is given by f of u comma v is equal to zero where u and v are the two solutions which we get in step two okay now we have to solve the partial differential equation y q minus x p is equal to z because it is of the form pp plus qq is equal to r which is our Lagrange's linear equations now comparing the given equation we get p is equal to minus x q is equal to y and r is equal to z and we know its auxiliary equation is dx by p dy by q dz by r which is, which is our first step of working rule okay now uh, putting the value of pq and r we get this equations now 
this is our auxiliary equations of a given equation now we will, we will select two fractions such that we will find the solution easy way now we take first two fraction this is first fraction this is second fraction we get this equation after integrating we get x y is equal to y now taking last two fraction dy by y is equal to dz by z after integrating we get y by z is equal to b now the solution is given by f of xy which is our first solution comma y by z which is our second solution okay thank you